for you, brother. Anytime y'all fall, stay down. Yeah. Your brother gonna pick you up. I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. Brotherhood, man. We don't feel anybody. Championship performance. Play tougher, harder, tougher, everything. Trust yourself. Trust your teammates. Let's go win. We don't need one to win. win. Look at this backdrop right now. Thank you to all our servicemen and women, but it wouldn't be a true first take, the true experience, if we didn't have a Stevens A-list. Especially when you're surrounded by leaders like I am right now. There's no question. That's why it's appropriate on this particular day, the top five leaders in the world of sports today. I didn't say history. I'm just talking today. Stay with me, Calaris. Watch how I break this down. Give it to me. Number five. Give it there. Great there, girl. Jose Altuve for the Houston Astros. Why? Let me tell you why. You look at the Houston Astros. I know they just lost the World Series, but they've been the two of the last three. They win over 100 games on a regular basis, and as big time as J.J. Watt is in the city of Houston, guess what? That miniature dynamo for the Houston Astros. Listen to that brother and look at what he does. And you see how successful Houston has been. He's got a lot to do with that. It takes leadership to be a team like that. I'm going to give that props to Al Jose Altuve. Give it to me. Number four. You know where I'm going with this. Let's there go. you go. The GOAT himself, Tom Brady. You Why? Hear that, Max? Why? Six Super Bowl titles, nine trips to the Super Bowl himself. We're talking about the number one league in sports, in sports. And what do we have? We have a guy that goes about his business of handling his business on an everyday basis. You listen to his teammates. They know they can rely on his brother to be professional, not just to be great, but to be professional along the way, to show you the right way to do things. Tom Brady definitely pulls that off. But there's a reason he's so great. Give it to me, girl, right there. The one and only Bill Belichick. Why? Because no matter how great Tom Brady is, what could he do if it were not for Bill Belichick? Nine trips to the Super Bowl as a head coach, two additional ones. As a coordinator, you're looking at, at, at Bill Belichick. Six Super Bowl titles as a coach, two as a defensive coordinator. That's eight Super Bowl titles. You can't achieve that when you are devoid of leadership. I got to give love and props to Bill Belichick. Number two on the list, here you go. The one and only, LeBron James. King. Why? When you talk about LeBron James, you're talking about a guy that's been to the finals nine times, okay? You look at what he's done, okay? He's lost three, he's lost six times, but he's won three times. You got to give him props where it's due. This is a guy that's universally recognized as arguably the iconic sports figure. Never gets in trouble, knows how to act, conducts himself like a model citizen, incredible role model, and on top of it all, hasn't sacrificed this greatness in order to achieve any of that stuff. You gotta give King James props, but I can't give him the number one nod. Guess who I'm giving that to? Steph Curry! Why am I doing that? Five straight trips to the NBA Finals. The baby face assassin. Universally recognized as the greatest shooter we've ever seen. But by the way, who is the person that got Kevin Durant to come to Golden State? Who is the person that took a step back and made the sacrifices for the team? You got one of the greatest shooters in the history of the game in Klay Thompson as his teammate, Steph Curry. What is his greatest gift? It's not just about shooting. His, his selflessness, unselfishness, the fact that he's willing to give and to share the wealth because it ain't all about him. That's what the bottom line is with Steph Curry. That's why I put him you number one. one. You missed one big one. I'm shocked. Even though he botched one recent situation, the greatest leader in sports today and one of the great leaders in American life is Greg Popovich. Look at that franchise competing year in and year out. Not, By the way, military trained background. Not scared to speak his mind, stand up, speak truth to power. Has an organization that competes every single year, has won five championships. I would say he's the number one well, let me, in sports. Well, let me tell you why I didn't pick him. Because I'll be damned if I was picking two coaches. I'm only going to pick one. And as great as Greg Popovich is, 
He's no Bill Belichick. Calais, what do you think about this list? We can he would be number two. Around. He would be number two, not ahead of Bill Belichick. I ain't going to lie. I was surprised to see Steph Curry up there. But then when he started talking about it, it does make sense. Because I think to be a real leader, you have to put the team in front of yourself. Mm -hmm. And Steph Curry is epitome of that. I mean, he really took a back seat and let the other guy shine so that he could have a chance to win. And I, I respect that a lot. And we can, we can say a lot of things about LeBron James. Good, most of it good, of course. But we can't say he did that. Yeah. He, we can't ever say that LeBron – this is the first time with the Anthony Davis thing, I'm going to make him the number one option, that we've seen LeBron James flagrantly willing to take a step back. We saw Steph Curry do that over the years. Well, LeBron's led a group of guys to the finals, except for last year, for almost every year for a decade. He was an East. Different teams, like, you know, and, yeah, sure, but he did it every year for almost a decade. He was an decade. East. Still did it. Well, no one else in the East did it. He, you only beat who's in I know, front of you. I know. But Steph Curry beat everybody, <laughs> including LeBron. Can I ask you this? I know Three or four times. Steven's A list is the top five leaders in sports right now. We know that the list is always fluid. But I want to go greatest of all time, Calais. I'll start with you. Who is the greatest sports leader all time? Wow. I mean, uh, just a couple, top of my head, I have to go with Vince Lombardi. I mean, the trophy's named after him for a reason. You know, I, I go back and look at, like, videos and, uh, and speeches all the time, and he's the one guy that you can go back consistently. It's like, wow. But at the same time, though, Michael Jordan has to be up there, too. I put Michael Jordan in there. And, and, and listen, I know I could be wrong. I'm just going to say who comes to my mind. Okay. And I don't know if this is true or not, but the two guys that I think about when I talk about leaders galvanizing the troops to give max performance is Ray Lewis. And Michael Irvin, the playmaker. I got one. You, baby. That's right. I got one, and I, I don't think it's close. I think, um, I think it's number one by far, Bill Russell. Bill Russell, in 21 deciding games in his career, college, the pros, every time there was a deciding game, a game seven, was 21 and Oh, wow. he never Max. lost. And he didn't put up the big stats unless it was a game seven. He'd give you 30 points and 40 boards. <laughs> this dude was a – and you talk to anyone. You read interviews, any of those Celtics on those old team coaches, anything, and they talk about their leader, Bill Ruck. Kills me Max, to say it because no, 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 the Celtics, no, no, no. Max, but it's Max, true. Max, Max makes a valid point. My only trepidation about that is the, what the league was then compared to what it was now. So the level of competition – you know, that That's you had true. to go again. Yeah. That's the only question mark about that. That's the only reason I didn't say Bill Russell. Of course. And, again, this is all relative because the real leaders were standing amongst you. Thank you guys again for having us today, having so much fun. Kalea sticking around here with us. We're going to talk a little.